So we all know 2020 has been a shit year. I agree, it's been fucking horrible. Beyond shit, it's been horrible. But you have people dancing in the streets, or we had people dancing in the streets thinking we, or they, have fired the CEO of racism. Because, you know, Orange Man bad and anybody else is better, despite that's not being the case. And these people also ignore that they are replacing the CEO with a board member of racism. Because they love to pretend that, you know, when it's convenient, only one person is ultra racist. And the next person is, oh, shit, he's much better because... Because what? Well... He worked for a black guy. Well, that doesn't really mean much because we, you you have a you you have racist fucking black people like have monsters ball. Remember the movie Monsters Ball in real life? Do you remember real life? Do you you remember real life? Right? You remember how like you know the the racist ass presidents like Thomas Jefferson had sex with black people and still was able to be racist as fuck because he owned chattel fucking slaves. Chattel slaves, not indentured servitudes, chattel slaves. So if you remember that, uh, you know, we're, be, being in the VP position, which Joe Biden has been vying for the White House for 40 plus fucking years and has been pretty much kicked the fuck out because he's that horrible of a candidate on top of him just being a notorious fucking liar. Yeah, we know Trump lies because for, for you motherfuckers out there that need to hear but what about trump he's bad too yeah we know trump lies that's not he's obvious like if you know if you especially if you new york city you already know trump is a fucking scumbag nobody has to tell you that he's also a liar especially when the people saying hey biden's bad and they're not saying trump is good but just critiquing biden on his obviously bad shit yeah so they, they they go your they go your treat go it's on the floor somewhere go fucking find it and pick it up and fucking eat it shove it up your ass or some shit. We're back on track. They are uh, replacing the CEO of racism, which is Trump, with the board member of racism, with the architect, the chairman of racism, on the political level with uh, Biden. Also, uh, take a take a listen to this uh, black woman who you know we protect all black women, right? You, you gotta, and we should listen to them as well. So please don't don't turn your turn your hypocrisy, you know, earbuds on. Take 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 your, your ear blockers out and listen to this black woman explain. White people are out here right now thinking that we are uh, we've won some type of war. Uh, when in reality we have we've gone from as my homeboy Marcus put it we were in the negative and now we're at zero and I get black people celebrating but white people when you're when you're num- white women especially when your numbers have increased you need to be home right now talking to your family members about the decisions that they're making on top of that we have folks out here who are claiming to be out here in the name of democracy but in the same breath are erasing black lives matter from this plaza this plaza right now don't have shit to do with black lives matter it is all about biden and harris and dump trump to the point where the memorial fence that we made where we put the names and faces of people who have been murdered by the police they are putting fucking biden and harris signs on it and dump trump signs on it covering faces and names as they're doing it with no regard to it and so i was just over there actually walking up and down the fence taking down that shit that ain't got nothing to do with black lives matter when a white boy tried to fight me because he wanted to sign the poster uh, uh, that I was ripping down that said Biden and Harris. And I had to tell him, you can sign it from on the ground because I'm taking this shit off the fence because it don't have anything to do with what this fence is for. At that point in time, he bucked up at me like he was going to hit me, to which a young black boy ran over right i mean you know i knew him from the summer he protested with us on the plaza he ran over right in between us and asked the white guy is there a motherfucking problem to which he rolled out of course hashtag protect black women but the point being is he saw no irony whatsoever in the fact that here he is trying to be violent with a black woman on black lives matter plaza who is protecting a mural (laughs) 
that is for black lives that have been lost at the hands of the police. As a white man, he saw nothing wrong with what he was doing, which is a clear indicator that the people here tonight are completely fucking clueless. I mean, we've got so far to go. Now after hearing that, the sad thing is the woke committee will ignore this black woman speaking her experience, her lived experience, because it's, you know, it's, they can't use it to their advantage. Her lived experience, since politics isn't about doing what's right, it's about being hacky as fuck. Unfortunately, hacky as fuck. My team, my team, my team. It's like the Dallas Cowboys against the New York Giants. Both teams fucking suck at this point. But do you care about a good football game? No. You don't care about a good football team, good game. D despite who, oh shit, that was a good pass. If it ain't your team, it's not a good pass. Oh, he scored. He got, he worked. He worked to get that touchdown. It doesn't matter if your, your team didn't get the touchdown, right? And I can football the baseball. Oh, shit, he stole fucking second base. Fuck that motherfucker. Versus, oh, your team do it? Oh, he did a good job stealing second. Or right, the motherfucker hit a home run? He hit a grand slam? God damn that boy. If it ain't your team, you don't give a fuck about that. Hacky as fuck. Now, I know the past podcasts I've done are kind of hard on people's favorite empty suits and the people who blindly support these empty suits. Just know, just between you and me, you know, who's ever listening right now, it's only going to get worse. Since the hiatus, well, unannounced hiatus, I've observed the majority of the average citizenry do not deserve leeway when it comes to information on what's going on around them. You, you just don't. You have the advent of the internet. Yes, Ajit Pai, a, like, you know, pushed in position by Obama, signed in by Trump. He's pretty much taken away Title II or, you know, been a hand in taking away Title II or Ajit shit Pai. But you can still access sites, the Gray Zone, you know, Glenn Greenwald, just Max Blumenthal. You you have sources out there. You have sources out there. Aaron Mate from the Gray Zone. I believe Max Blumenthal is from the uh, Gray Zone too. Abby Martin. You you have Katie Halper sometimes. I don't know about the whole useful idiots thing because Matt Taibbi on it. I don't like to turn white privilege. Other than him, you have resources out there so you can actually look up cross reference. You ain't got to take whatever site at face value. You, you, you have information with the advent of the internet, and most people in this third world, shiny third world country, which is America. Which you have, you know, millions of homeless people. On top of that, you have more empty homes than homeless people, which we can just give people homes. But since the whole real estate thing, the whole market and is run by hedge funds and not even small landlords and shit that are or that are mostly fucking slumlords. If you're a slumlord uh, and you're offended, oh well, oh fucking well. I mean, I, I don't have any fucking patience or nicest to see you right now, but. I was saying, shiny third world country, you still have the advent of the internet. There's no reason why you can't research your candidate. There's no reason why you can't cross-reference information for your candidate. None. None. Great example, Stacey, Stacey Abrams. Oh my God, yeah. Black girl magic. She gonna... Well, if you actually look at Stacey Abrams' history, she's a fucking corporate tool. And for some reason, black people just fall for that shit all the time. I don't even, honestly, I don't even think you have to say white people fall for it all the time, too, because, like, have just a white politician is just a norm. And every time we get a black politician, every, it's, oh, my God, yeah, we made it. Nigga, we made it. Nigga, we made it. We started from the bottom, and now we are selling out to the same people 
white white politicians are. So even with that, like I said, just for example, Stacey Abrams. Anyway, people treat this shit like a team sport, and and with the advent of information technology at your t- fingertips, where you should always cross reference everything, you should always question everything as well. What you've been taught in school. There's a book called Lies that te- My Teacher Told Me. Look it up. Shit, read the synopsis. You ain't got to read the whole fucking thing. Just read the synopsis. There's a lot of things you, you, you got to question, right? But a lot of the populace have no question nor concern when it comes from Fox to MSNBC. Like I, I like to call it MSNDC. CNN, ABC, and even NBC. Or, shit, do you want to go deeper than that? The six or maybe now five giant media corporations that control everything you see. From even YouTube ads. To uh, you, if you have regular cable or IPTV and you get the news channels. Six, six corporations control your information. And, and no, no. They're not all that different. Just like Republicans and Democrats are pretty much two wings on the same bird. No matter how much you want to cry about their... Oh, but the, the, no. They're two wings of the same bird. The media are six wings. Is that The fucking Hydra is six heads on the same motherfucking body. So the six heads might look different. They might have a different mask on or makeup or some lipstick or some shit. Perfume and cologne. But they on the same body and the same body producing you the same bullshit, just in different variations with as Fox News is more conservative, cult conservative, whatever the fuck conservative can serve, Republican, whatever the fuck you want to call it, than the other stations. But the other stations still they they there's never a war they haven't liked. There's never an austerity tactic used on the people they haven't liked. And when it's something progressive like Medicare for all for the people, they all have shitted on it the same. But yeah, the average person gives no fucks about what's actually about actually knowing their reality. The average person doesn't. The average person's intelligent quotient isn't high enough to give a fuck. Or if it's high enough, they just refuse to give a fuck. Because honestly, the less you know, matter of fact, here's a simple statement. Ignorance is bliss. Ignorance is bliss. Shrink your brain, your brain capacity down to where you feel like it. Absorb what you feel like absorbing without question. And you're blissful until the thing you're absorbing telling you, tells you to be fearful of whatever they need you to fear to justify their actions on something. 